Commander. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. My people are wanderers, not military leaders. All this fighting seems strange. It must be more familiar for you, Chief Williams. Uh, trying to take down a rogue Spectre and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. I think I deserve the whole story. 
We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shen. Spectres are about the only form of Citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress.
heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't gonna be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolic Syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bone. I need to know more about this Vrolix Syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures. Hip, thighs, ankles, my bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not gonna break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I have to go. Alright, see ya. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school, following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt, 
We were one of the first reinforcements to arrive at Elysium after the Blitz hit. <laughs> Those raiders were no match for an Alliance frigate. Of course, the only reason the colony was still standing was because of you, Commander. I can't believe you held out as long as you did. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander.